Miroslav. Can you please all rise? <laughs> here, here. Yay! Hello. Thank you, everybody. So he's going to speak about the case of SBTX versus Fedora. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, it's usually a habit that you sit down when the jury say, you may be seated, but you are forgi forgiven. OK. So uh, members of the jury, uh, your duty today will be to determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty uh, based only on the facts and the evidence provided in the case. And we will be talking about the case of SPDX uh, versus Fedora. So thank you for the coming, and thank you uh, even to the audience uh, watching the stream live. First, uh, let me introduce you into the problem we have. Uh, that's the Callaway system. And the guy who is guilty of this system is uh, Tom Callaway, who is coincidentally sitting here on the bench of the guilty people. Uh, uh, and yeah. Uh, he made the system out of the blue because in that time, what was the time, Tom? That would have been 2003, 2004. 2003, yeah. And there was no standard. Uh, I probably should speak on the mic, right? Yeah. And, and in that time, there was no standard about licensing at all. So, so when the license was GPL version 2, uh, yeah, we said, uh, Tom said, well, let's use GPL v2 string for that uh, and we live with that for long long time uh, much time later uh, we had some problems with uh, softwares uh, that's when the stuff uh, 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 and uh, s -bomb, uh started uh, and there, there were two standard right now uh, we have spdx and cyclone dx uh, which is used for the uh, S bombs, uh, and, and one of the things uh, for that uh, is the, the licensing. So, so licensing starts to be standardized, and SPDX uh, use the identifier for uh, separate licenses. So you, when you use the SPDX identifier, you know exactly what license it is, and it's never a whole family of the license like we had in past in the, uh, in the Fedora. Uh, by the way, who knows what SBOM is? And who doesn't know who SBOM, what SBOM is? Okay, so we have some people in the audience. I may refer you to my presentation on Dev, uh, devconf.cz um, this summer uh, where I spoke about the, what, what the hell is SBOM. Uh, but it basically is something like that, this picture. Uh, and it describes you, your system. Because usually the requirements for the system is just the top level and you never know what's be, uh, below. So it's the map. Some people uh, like the uh, metamorphosis, like uh, that is a list of ingredients. And you know where on the end of the list is the chili. Uh, it can spoil the things. Yeah, there is a question. Uh, I prefer saying your honor. Oh, okay, so so in this picture, uh, 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 the the fun is of this of this tiny place. But from the S bomb things, we actually don't think cares. We uh, S bomb doesn't care about sustainability of the things, uh, whether it's sustainable in future or not. You just describe the system and to, uh, to note that, for example, this block. Uh, has some security vulnerability. It just provides you a map of the system and know what's exactly there is. 
A lot of things you can do uh, for the SBOM, you can uh, fetch using rpm-query-all and you re uh, get all this information. That's like name of the package, uh, upstream uh, website, uh, what files it includes, etc. But one th thing is the licensing. So, so uh, that's part of the SBOM. Uh, and uh, that's why we are uh, doing the change in the Fedora uh, itself. Uh, to move to something which is standardized because every software right now in, in the wild uh, which do something with the licensing use uh, some standard and for mo what I most see is the SPDX. Uh, so if we want to continue further and be first uh, and uh, we, we, we need to use the SPDX. This is, so last year we started uh, initiative and a change proposal to move to SPDX identifiers. This is where we are right now. Uh, and the, the blue part is uh, which uh, tags uh, we already converted which is pretty awesome. We are like at 40% right, right now, which is a good number. It's starting slowing down uh, a little bit, uh, but uh, yeah, we are doing a lot of stuff. We are adding like five new licenses to, uh, to SPDX uh, every week or something like that. So, so it's pretty fast for a human, uh, slow from the whole distribution point of view. Uh, and the yellowish and reddish part is the part which we have to finish uh, yet. Uh, and uh, the, the yellow part, I mark it as trivial conversion, which a lot of people hate me for that, uh, because that's trivial um, uh, from technical point of view. Uh, but when you start speaking to lawyers, it doesn't seem to be as such trivial as it seems to be. One of the reasons is that uh, we are changing uh, how we evaluate license. Previously, you can evaluate the license, and uh, now we don't evaluate. So if some systems say, uh, projects say, this is uh, GPL version 2, or if you are shipping with the Fedora, it's MIT, uh, and Previously, you may choose the MIT because that was for Fedora, and now you should say GPL or MIT, uh, and depends on the context. Uh, so, so right now, we are, have to evaluate all the licenses uh, as well. Uh, so the trivial part is not so trivial, and the red part is not trivial at all because we usually don't know to which part uh, it should convert. Uh, and the non-trivial part looks like something like this, uh, so if you try to convert MIT and BSD license string, uh, we give you uh, a hint that it's one of the MIT choice and uh, BSD choice, and you actually evaluate the license because previously uh, in the Callaway system, uh, BSD, MIT, and other uh, licenses refer to whole family of licenses, which is uh, right now uh, not possible. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, now I want to meet your uh, uh, our defendant uh, and. It's a, it's a form of quiz, and you will be the jury and decide if it was the right answer. And I want to ask you to all stand up, please. Uh, and uh, here we have the question, and this is one of the change owner. And uh, who is this guy? Uh, and if it is, if it is David Kenshirk, raise your right hand. And if it is David Cantrell, raise your left hand. And if you, uh, I will shortly reveal the correct answer. And if it is incorrect, please sit down. If you guess it correctly, you can stand down. Credit for this quiz go to Radek Vokal, who introduced it in DEF CONF. So, so uh, guess, who is it? David Kenshirk, 
or David Cantrell? Raise your hand. The maintainer. Uh, uh, the change owners. The, this is this guy. This guy on, 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 on the board. It's not so visible. Uh, <laughs> and it's David Cantrell, and he's here in the, yeah, so, so not on the board. Uh, and second change owner, uh, is it Emily Lovejoy or Jillian Lovejoy? This one will be tricky. One, two, three. It's Jillian Lovejoy. And who is this? Is it Miroslav Suchy or Marek Suchy? It's Miroslav Suchy and it's me. And now slightly different. Uh, who is Richard Fort Fontana? Is it a guy on the left side on the, or the guy on the right side? Oh, that's Okay. Both are Richard Fontana. <laughs> this is the Richard Fontana the lawyer, and this is the Richard Fonta Fontana the actor. Obviously, like uh, the, the Richard Fontana the lawyer is working on the uh, change proposal, but this change was tricky, and both questions are correct. Uh, and uh, uh, when the migration to SPDX in the whole Fedora will be finished based on current approximation and estimation. Uh, will it be sooner than October 2024 uh, or later than the October next year? And this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it varies because uh, uh, the estimation uh, started to be summer 2024, and you see the graph was slowing down. So right now the estimation is December 2024. So you can do better if you migrate your packages. Uh, and uh, so, so some people still standing. Uh, so last question. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> do you like the do you like the migration to SPDX identifiers? Yes! <laughs> Correct answer is yes. And yeah, I was, I was looking actually for a uh, standing ovation, but uh, you didn't get so many questions, so you are not standing anymore. So <laughs> my, my fault picking, uh, so doing right. that. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically all of I uh, presented because I can uh, speak about it a long, long time, and I reserve more time for your uh, questions. So, what's what's your question? And then there we have. It's not so okay. It's, like it. it's green, so I will rephrase your question. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah. Okay, but yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, so my question is: Is this change uh, only for the licenses, or you will publish the SPDX files with all the requirements, provides, and things they get uh, to the Fedora in the format that will be accessible to the Mm, scanners, or executive scanners, things I get. Uh huh. Uh, because uh, sorry for uh, I tomorrow have a little bit of um, supply, uh, supply chain in rail, and actually Red Hat has already started to provide it in beta in one of the portals. So I'm curious how it looks in Fedora. When so again, the question is uh, like whether uh, how. If you if Fedora provides the SPDX but not the, the change to the licensing the packages but the SPDX as a files for the as, as individual files. yeah as yeah. files. Uh, so as far as I don't know, uh, uh, Fedora provides as bombs for the containers uh, made of the Fedora 
but not for the whole distribution. Uh, and even the SBOMs for the containers are very easy and not going down into the details. And uh, just for the others, like the, the SBOMs can be really, really huge. Uh, it's a huge rabbit hole uh, because you can ha have SBOMs for the artifacts. That's what we are actually producing. Then you have as bombs, which is for building systems, so which includes the not just the map you seen, but uh, other maps which is requires for the building the packages as build requires. You can have the as bomb uh, which includes stuff for designing, so so uh, other stuff which you need to for design it. So before you start building that, uh, for example, Inkscape for drafting uh, the, the the logos, uh, and, and the other way around. Uh, uh, you can have as bombs for deployment uh, because your system may need uh, Postgres DB, uh, but it can reside on the different system. Uh, so, so it doesn't need to be tracked in some scenarios, but in some scenarios it needs to be tracked. Uh, or S3, which is provided by other vendor somewhere on the internet. So, uh, so when you say uh, providing the S bomb, it's a really wide area. But, but for our change proposal, uh, I don't uh, dive into that because that's really a huge topic. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, I'm and, and we, the change owners, are focusing just on the changing the license identifiers. Even that is a huge uh, topic. And what we are, and even in this area, there was a proposal that we do the uh, uh, analysis on every commit to this git uh, which is really great idea and one day it will likely happen uh, and there are some tools that actually do that uh, for example SUSE has the cable system uh, which we probably plan to use or investigate uh, so so like uh, but uh, if we do that right now we would have to work and build the system for both the uh, callaway system and the SPDX systems and somehow make it live together, which will be tricky. So, so I pursued others that we first migrate everything to SPDX and then some two years later, maybe, uh, is my expectation, we will do some system, uh, make some system which will uh, warn you every time you do change that yeah, hey, there's, there may be new license or some license disappear. Uh, so this is the future uh, in future Fedora probably. Okay. Uh, I have a second question, but uh, I don't want to maybe oh, person. I will give chance there and then maybe back to you. Okay. Um, my question is a bit twofold. Um, I was wondering if you have any view on what the most common licenses are in the um, in Fedora right now, since you're going through all the changes and doing the uh, statistical analysis. And I was um, part of that. Um, what is your view on the proposal that has appeared uh, recently to uh, follow suit what uh, Debian does and uh, just um, uh, um, symlink to uh, copies of uh, a common license text and mm -hmm. um, instead of uh, having multiple uh, copies of the same license? Yeah, so the question is common licenses. Uh, I don't dare to say which license is common in Fedora. Like, yeah, we have a lot of MIT, a lot of uh, GPL version 2 or later, uh, a lot of BSD. Uh, I've seen some pretty long list licenses, like 80 char uh, 800 characters long license identifier. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah. It, uh, Right now, because we are in the middle and we mix the callaway system as SpeedX and the callaway system itself it was not defined in any form uh, but one wiki page. Uh, so uh, uh, later, when we finish this work, it may be in, and actually easy to determine the whole license for a whole Fedora distribution because there is a library which evaluates the uh, license, so, uh, licenses, so we may put all the strings beside and concate it with our operators and it evaluates the license and we may get the license for whole Fedora distribution. So that would be awesome. Uh, 
And yeah, uh, the idea about linking to common licenses, uh, actually last week uh, Richard uh, kicked this off on the legal, federal legal list. Uh, so yeah, so it is proposal, uh, 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 it has some problems, like what is common license, what is not. Uh, so for others like GPL version two may be common license and you may link to that but uh, there are some other licenses uh, which has the uh, credentials contribution like at the top, uh, copyrighted uh, 2024 uh, by Miroslav Suchy and it's part of the license and uh, uh, license checkers ignores this contribution uh, thing. Uh, but the license itself uh, says it's free if you uh, include this license in exactly this form in, in, in the software. So, so you can't actually link it to some common example where is a, oh, hey, here it comes contribution because there has to be that contribution. You could link the common part and then keep the header and uh, um, merge in the common part. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a question for the lawyers. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the part where things start complicated and whether it's sufficient to, to link the header. Uh, or whether you have to include the part. Uh, well, uh, it, it's tricky and right now we have like 20,000 packages to go uh, and we still defer some uh, stuff like uh, copyright only or uh, CC0 on redistributable re stuff. So we just note it and uh, we will still have to do some fixes later in some cases. So. So there is a lot of stuff and not sure whether like saving uh, one kilo of tax is right now the biggest priority. But yeah, oh, people are trying to address that and it's fine and mm, I welcome such an initiative. Uh, okay, uh, my question is also uh, because there are multiple formats for SBOM and uh, why you choose one over other? For example, as you have with the second X, and why you choose this one as per the X instead of? Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, so the uh, SPDX actually was not as bomb uh, uh, thing at the start. It was the license management project. So uh, at the start, they have. Uh, huge uh, list of licenses uh, and as far as I know they are still the only one which actually care about the licenses too much. Uh, the Cyclone DX is the new one and it's uh, focused on the tracking vulnerabilities so they don't care about too much about the licenses uh, uh, and they care about the vulnerabilities in the, uh, in the blocks uh, uh, so I'm not even aware whether they have some list of the licenses and then they don't differ it uh, uh, so much like the uh, SPDX. So my ex wild guess, and I may be incorrect, is that in a few years even the Cyclone DX will use the SPDX li list uh, because it's really uh, comprehensive uh, and very well maintained. Uh, so can I ask my Okay, uh, Your Honor. Uh, I was investigating one of my victims and there was a problem in evidence and in layman terms, is there some tooling that can help me with converting my packages to the SPDX valid license? Yeah, yes, thank you for the question. And uh, it's in the package license validate uh, and if you run license of, uh, dash Fedora to SPDX and with the old system, it will tell you uh, to which string you can convert it. But there is a problem with the uh, uh, license evaluation. So uh, you may run the checker and we have license check, uh, scan tools, uh, 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 Ascalone, and uh, every tool has its own problems. Uh, so there's no uh, thing which I can point. This is best tool you can use. Uh, uh, and yeah, we are still evolving and the ecosystem is evolving. Uh, Your Honor, I just want to add to that. Um, one annoying feature of that tool is if you already have an SPDX license, 
it tells you it's not a valid license string. Uh, I may address it after this presentation because we are already at the end. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, so, so we are at the end of the hearing. Thank you for the coming. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That was fantastic. Uh, the next we have Tim Flink. No. Sorry. Uh, you are the one, right?